My name is Nir and this is Cosmic Grips. My name is Nir, I'm from Israel and together with my partner Yuval Hamburg we um, made Cosmic Grips which is a company that makes climbing holds. We thought it's gonna be amazing to bring everything together, the knowledge of product design and engineering, and bring it to the climbing world, and uh, using digital methods and advanced production methods, and bring innovation to the field of climbing. So climbing is, climbing walls comes from climbing rock climbing and bringing it to gyms and indoor climbing, usually wood walls, and we uh, mount holds on them and climb to the top. A usual method of making holds is carving out of foam and then making a mold from silicone and then casting PU. What Cosmic brings is digital design, using digital tools and softwares and then transferring into the physical world with 3D printing. This is a 3D printed part and this is the final product which is cast from plastic but the pattern is made out of 3D printing and then it is copied into plastic, into casting. So half of the process of manufacturing is done through 3D printing and the final outcome is standard casting. We use multiple uh, materials. So for the shape, we use basic PLA because we only need uh, aesthetic uh, properties. So we use PLA, it's the easiest and most simple material and we get very good results. But there are also molds that we print and inside we cast uh, polyurethane, which becomes very hot during the, its hardening. So we print it with ABS, so the mold will not melt. And I can also add that um, the raised printers, because it's closed chamber, they, uh, they work very well with ABS, so we get very uh, easy and constant results with ABS printing. We used to have an older machines and we looked for more machines, better machines that are closed chamber and we don't need to, like they are plug and play and they don't lose the data if there's a power surge or there's a filament run out. And through a distributor in Israel, we discovered Race3D and we got a great offer and a great help and we uh, just uh, started using uh, the printer and in the, the next week we bought another one because it was everything we needed, it was in a great cost and since two years it's just running 24-7. So very low maintenance and it just works. Yeah, so it's a um, very intuitive uh, experience. I don't have to spend a lot of time. I already know everything. So I think in two or three minutes, uh, an imported part can be uh, moved into the machine that start with, start printing. Okay. So it's a very easy and customizable experience. I have the app, mm -hmm. so I can sit at home and see if everything works and if the filament was running out um, and I need to go and, re and put a new filament. So I'm tracking from my app, but I mainly use the app, the, the software from the PC. Uh, the catalog we have is constructed out of uh, four families. We have the Leaf, the G3, uh, the Monoblock, and the UFO. And each family has about 60 variants running from this size 
to sizes as big as twice the size of the Ray's machine and we join them together before we cast. So we have about 300 pieces that are print, that were printed and the molds as well. So about 600 pieces uh, with the printers running from about half a year, we printed all of them. So these are the G3. These are all very square. The silhouette is always square, but the shape changes within the silhouette. And there are sizes that runs between this big and this is, these are the little ones. This is the UFO. We have all the shapes. It's the easy shapes, like jugs, and the very, very hard shapes, like slopers, and runs from this big and baby size. And it's all three, you can see the 3D printed layout of the hold. So it, it mirrors the print surface quality. So we need a very high surface quality for the printing. So it will turn out very nice without any post-processing. These are the leaves. They are all hollow, by the way. We make also the cores are uh, printed from ABS. We have, again, sizes from baby size to extra large and it's all untreated. The surface quality here is as it's coming out from the printer. And last but not least, we have monoblocks, which are very squarish. And again, you can see uh, different textures. This is a coating we make after the printing, before casting. So you can see difference in the texture and how to hold it. You cannot hold it where it's slippery. So you have to align your hands according to the orientation of the hold and where you can grab and where you cannot. This is our debut here in the US and we really wanted here at the booth to show our technology and to share what we've been doing. So I figured out we must have a printer here to show the technology. And since we have the Ray's 3D operating, it was an obvious choice to bring the printer uh, uh, along with us. But since we're from Israel, um, I thought it's gonna be insane to bring it over. So I thought maybe reaching out to Ray's and suggest a collaboration to uh, do something together and bring, help us bring um, printers here to the booth. And we got a very fast reaction from 3D and it was a great, um, like, great partnership. And we came here today, all the boxes were ready with the printers and it's now up and running. And we're like presenting everything we've been doing for the last two years with our raised printers here at the booth.